importing office supplies and stationery for businesses and organizations. Hello and welcome back to channel. In today's video, we will be discussing the process of importing office supplies and stationery for businesses and organizations. If you are a company or organization looking to bring in these essential items, this video is for you. So, let's dive right in. When it comes to importing office supplies and stationery, there are a few key concepts to consider. Firstly, you will need to work with a customs broker. A customs broker is a licensed professional who acts as an intermediary between importers and customs authorities. They are well versed in the complex regulations and requirements involved in importing goods. Their expertise will help ensure smooth customs clearance for your office supplies. Another important aspect to mention is the customs bond. A customs bond serves as a financial guarantee that ensures compliance with all customs regulations and payment of any duties, taxes, or penalties. It is a mandatory requirement for importing goods into the United States. By obtaining a customs bond, you are demonstrating your commitment to following the rules and regulations of international trade. In addition to a customs bond, you will also need to file an Importer Security Filing ISF. The ISF is a requirement by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for all ocean shipments entering the United States. It must be filed at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto the vessel overseas. The ISF provides crucial information about the shipment, such as the shipper's name and address, consignee's name and address, and the nature of the goods being imported. By submitting an accurate and timely ISF, you are ensuring compliance with CBP regulations and avoiding any potential penalties. Now let's talk about the actual process of importing office supplies and stationery. Once your goods have been manufactured and packaged, they will be transported to the port of origin. From there, they will be loaded onto a cargo ship for transportation to the United States. Upon arrival at the U.S. port, your shipment will go through customs clearance. This involves the inspection of your goods by a customs officer to verify the accuracy of the declared information. They will also assess any duties, taxes, or fees that need to be paid based on the classification of your products. It is important to ensure that your import documentation is complete and accurate to prevent any delays or complications during this process. Once your goods have been cleared by customs, they can be released for delivery to your designated location. It is crucial to work with a reputable logistics provider or freight forwarder who can handle the transportation and delivery of your imported office supplies and stationery. They will take care of arranging the necessary transportation, storage, and final delivery of your goods. By importing office supplies and stationery for your business or organization, you gain access to a wide range of quality products from around the world. It allows you to choose products that meet your specific needs and preferences. Importing can also provide cost savings and enhance the competitiveness of your business. In conclusion, importing office supplies and stationery for businesses and organizations requires careful planning and adherence to customs regulations. Working with a customs broker, obtaining a customs bond, and filing an importer security filing are essential steps in the process. By following these guidelines and partnering with the right logistics provider, you can ensure a smooth and successful importation of office supplies and stationery. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found this information valuable. Stay tuned for more informative videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates on all things related to international trade. Disclaimer note below. See you soon.